Bill, because of your generosity and you giving over $100,000 for many years to the Florida Keys Outreach Coalition, they were able to really flourish. And because of everything you did, this organization has even named a building in honor of you, the William Neese nice Center. And I know, Bill, that this means so much to you to be able to give back to this organization. Well, it was, uh, business-wise, it was a uh, tax deduction, <laughs> <laughs> which wasn't the main reason, which wasn't, didn't play into it at all. So my sister played havoc with me. <laughs> but um, it, it was truly my pleasure to see, um, see a, uh, uh, an organization uh, concentrating on helping the homeless people, and, and especially addicts, mm -hmm. either AA or NA. Um, and I know from Reverend Steve that the, that's one of his requirements, too. Mm -hmm. And I think the one thing I want to mention is that this was a dream of Pat Varga. Mm -hmm. And I, I just wish and pray that she could see what her dream turned into. And because of Reverend Steve, it, it happened. Mm -hmm. And I, I, had, I had nothing to do with it. Reverend S Steve Braddock was totally responsible, not me. Reverend Steve Braddock made it all happen. And I was just a tool. That's it, you know. Well, yeah. well, you're a tool that's still being used to this day because people who walk through those doors, they hear their stories when they walk through the William Neese building and they're inspired by you because you are a true success story and you show what happens when someone can give someone an opportunity, what they can do with their life. And your generosity also earned you a key to the city of Key West. What was that like? Um, it was... Uh, it was very, it was, it was very moving to me to have, I forget her name, she was one of the elderly ladies that gave me the key. Mm -hmm. And she, I think she was the first female mayor. Mm -hmm. She was an older lady, I forget her name, Steve knows. But it was a tremendous honor, mm -hmm. you know. But, and having Steve uh, dedicate a building to me, that was, that was quite an honor. I, 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 didn't, I didn't solicit that. I didn't expect that. Mm -hmm. And the, there is one very, very, very important thing that I want to share with the, 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 the residents of, of, of um, FKOC and the potential residents that are going to Anchors Away is Never, never, never be complacent. No matter where you're at in your sobriety, go back to the beginning and remember where you were mm -hmm. and what it took to be sober. Mm -hmm. And never forget that. Mm -hmm. Because once you forget it, you lose it. That's right. And you know, another thing that's coming to my mind right now is at the very beginning of the show too, Bill, you were telling me that one of your favorite slogans from Anchors Away was expect miracles. And that is such what happened to you to be living on the streets of Key West and then to one day earn even a key to Key West. How amazing is that? That's a miracle. Well, I've had so many, I mean, I could, I, I have many chapters in the book of my life, but the, the biggest ch chapter is the, the miracles that have been thrown my way, absolutely thrown my way, um, because I've, I've tried to maintain uh, attitude of gratitude, mm -hmm. which is another slogan. Mm -hmm. You know, when you lose your gratitude, you lose your attitude. When you lose your attitude, you lose it all. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And that's what AA and NA, um, that's what they stand for. Mm -hmm. The steps and always remember what got you off the, off the bottom. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets the bottom. Mm -hmm. 
to sobriety. Right. And never, ever forget what got you there. Wonderful. Well, it has been such a pleasure talking with you. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. And thank you for the inspiration that you do. You bring to others daily. You truly do. You're a true inspiration. So it's been wonderful talking with well, you. Well, thank you for your time. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in and joining me this morning. I hope that you can join me right back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day. If I